Hi viewers, welcome to LMR Solution. Today we are going to see about a battery driven electric vehicle with a regenerative braking operation concept in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model we are created for a battery powered electric vehicle. So this model consists of a battery and then bidirectional DC DC converter and then DC motor okay and this uh, battery converter will be controlled by means of speed control method so here we are measuring the, the speed of the uh, DC motor so this DC motor speed will be compared with the reference speed okay then it going to be processed via PID controller and it going to be and after PID controller, the PID controller will be generated the uh, duty cycle. So the duty cycle will be processed via this uh, PID volume generator. So this PID volume generator will be generated the pulse. So this pulse will be used for drive this two MOSFET. So it going to be drive the two, two, uh, two MOSFET in order to supply the power from the uh, battery to a DC motor during motoring operation okay during braking uh, during braking some energy will be reversed right some power will be reversed in the uh, DC motor so that going to be stored in the uh, battery so during that time the current direction going to be in the reverse direction okay so that going to happen when we are going to reduce the speed right for example, consider you drive the vehicle, okay. So you are going to increase the accelerator, right? So it going to be uh, the speed of the uh, electric vehicle going to be increased, and you are going to maintain around uh, eighty kilometer per hour, okay. So during uh, you are going to apply sudden uh, brake uh, in the electric vehicle. So what will be happen that there will be a, uh, a torque in the negative direction, okay. So that need to be stored in the battery. So that can be possible uh, by means of this uh, bidirectional DC DC converter arrangement. Okay. So when we are applying the brake, right? So whatever energy stored in that machine, right? That going to be uh, returned back to that uh, battery. So via this DC DC converter. So during that time, during this, uh, that mean. Uh, during forward motoring condition right forward not forward motoring during uh, driving condition right when speed increasing condition right so battery will be supply the power to the uh, this dc motor during applying braking right so whatever energy is stored because of that negative electro uh, magnetic torque right so that going to be stored in the battery so during that time current direction only going to be changed okay so and also when you have to look from this side right so it will be act as a boost converter when you are going to look in this direction it will be act as a boost converter so we can call this uh, converter arrangement nothing but the bidirectional bug boost converter arrangement okay and i am going to explain here right here we have the battery right battery voltage we are consider as 60 and rated capacity is 400 ah the battery SOC is 50 percent so this is the machine here we are having so here we are using 240 volt machine with rated speed of 1750 rpm and uh, 300 volt uh, a DC motor and rated power is 5 HP okay and then here we are applying load torque is 10 Newton meter and then here we have a uh, reference speed condition so initially I am going to operate the motor at a constant speed right so i am not changing any speed in this machine so i am going to show the result of the battery voltage current and soc and then i am going to show the result of uh, the speed of the electric vehicle or the speed of the machine electric machine or dc motor or much current and the electromagnetic torque okay without changing any speed reference okay and also I am going to show that uh, tracking of uh, speed also ok and then this is a 
वोलटेज अक्रॉस द टू मिशन So first I am going to simulate this one and then we will check the results. So now we can see here right. So reference speed here we are fixed at 120. So it will be track that reference speed after 1.5 seconds. Okay, so this voltage across that turn. DC machine is around 150 volt and then uh, so here you can see here right. Uh, so this is the battery voltage and then battery current and the battery associates the battery associates keep on decreasing because of uh, battery supplying power to the electric motor okay and then is the current is uh, taken from the battery is around uh, 27.5 amps and here you can the speed of the machine is maintained at 120 radian per second and then the torque of the machine is maintained at 10 newton meter because slow torque we are maintained fixed at 10 newton meter so so here you can see that right so it maintained at uh, around 11 newton meter and then current of the machine is around 11 newton meter so 11 amps okay so this is for uh, like uh, for motoring condition or motoring operation so now i am going to check the condition that means we are going to uh, apply the brake right so here in order to create that regeneration concept so first i'm going to maintain the uh, reference speed equal to 120 rated per second after some seconds right i'm going to change the speed from 120 rated per seconds to around uh, 50 rated per second okay and then we have to check the, uh, the changes in the system so how the machine will be react when we are going to apply the brake right apply the brake in the sense we are going to apply the uh, that means uh, we are reducing the speed of the machine right so during that time so how the machine will be act and then how the energy will be transferred from that machine into that battery like the regeneration concept right so here i am going to make that uh, the reference speed from after two seconds right so initially it will be run at 120 uh, newton per uh, so 120 radian per second and then after that it can be changed to 50 rating per second okay and then uh, i'm going to make small uh, that means uh, we are creating that uh, uh, braking right that means reducing the uh, speed of the machine reference speed uh, from 120 to 50 at 2 seconds so i'm going to take uh, another uh, 0 0.05 seconds right so that means that uh, that regeneration will be you can see uh, slightly right within a second so okay so that's why i'm uh, making the time so i'm going to simulate this same model and then i'm going to explain the detail with the, how the tree generation happened in the system while we are reducing the speed so now we can see here right so this uh, changes happen when that speed that been here you can see that the speed is speed reference is uh, changed here but because of change in reference speed the speed is reducing here right so in this portion you can see right right so this is reference speed the blue color is actual speed because of change in reference speed the actual speed of emission also try to reduce right so you can see that reduction of that speed okay so now you can see that because of reduction of that uh, speed command the voltage of the voltage across that motor also going to be changed right and also here you can see that change in the speed okay speed is reducing and then here you can see that variation of uh, uh, like uh, here you can easily understand that okay so now you can see that right the current of the dc machine or dc motor is comes to minus 20 amps so here when you are going to apply the brake that so what happened that uh, it will be going back to a generator right that machine uh, dc machine is going back to a generator so that's why the current is changed from 10 11 amps to minus 20 amps is comes to here and also you can see the electromagnetic torque of the machine so it changed from 11 newton meter to minus 20 newton meter so this is known as a regeneration right so because of regeneration how that energy will be back to that battery so here you can see right i am going to zoom 
this area so you will see that detail so now we can see here right that uh, that battery current right so this battery current is changed from 27.5 amps to minus around minus 18 amps right so this is because of this regeneration right the water energy is generated during region and breaking right so that will be sent to that battery so and also i'm going to uh, expand that uh, soc okay so you will see that here. now we can see that right the soc of the battery is increasing so because of that regeneration power right Re uh, regeneration energy because of that break uh, breaking that so the soc of the battery also going to be increasing okay and also i need to check that voltage also so because of applying voltage so we need to check the voltage whether voltage increasing or not here you can see that voltage of the battery also increasing because of regenerate uh, generation right because of that uh, regenerative breaking okay so this has happened when uh, that will regenerate breaking uh, concept applied in the electric vehicle so whenever you are going to apply the brake so that during that break whatever energy in that machine so that will be returned back to that battery okay so this is known as the regenerative operation of the electric vehicle so this is battery driven electric vehicle with, with the regeneration concept so thanks thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye